All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel, and welcome to Innistrad. Midnight Hunt. Man, original Innistrad was great. This is the new set. We're going to be cracking a bunch of these boxes, so we figured might as well start a little YouTube channel. Just crack these boxes and see what we pull and do some booster box EV find out if it's worth cracking these just to flip singles or not this is our first box it's going to be a set booster box i'm not sure actually a bunch of the cards in the set I'm kind of going in in blind i don't know what the most expensive mythics are so we're just going to learn the set together a little bit and uh, i don't even know what the list cards are so hopefully we pull something exciting from the list but here we go. Let's just get into it and start cracking packs. Beautiful lands. We'll start out slow here probably and speed it up. Startle, tapping at the window. I love the theme. It's like perfect time of the year, the Halloween werewolves and spookiness of the set. Very cool. First rare is actually a mythic. This is from the commander set, I believe. So you can get the commander rares and mythics in this, the set boosters. Leonore Autumn Sovereign, Legendary Human Noble. That's our first showcase, the common. It's a little weird that there's showcase commons, but I guess it's cool. Curse of Silence. Our first normal rare and our first foil, uncommon, hungry more all right that was a cool cool little first pack i'm gonna go a little faster now though and just flip through the commons and uncommons straight to the good stuff although there are some really good commons i know that commons and uncommons it's really cool art card we're looking for the gold signature cards mountain Another full art showcase common and an uncommon Tolivar Huntmaster and ooh, a foil shipwreck marsh. It's a pretty good, I like this new land cycle. It's always good to have a new land cycle for a commander, especially. These are very playable. Awesome. Awesome little foil rare land there. So we're starting this channel. We're gonna do a lot of booster box openings, not just Magic the Gathering, but Pokemon, some flesh and blood, some sports stuff. Um, you can check out our store, Las Vegas Cards and Collectibles. We've been on eBay for a while. And um, we have our own website as well. We sell sealed stuff on our own website and uh, as well as a lot of supplies. Top loaders, penny sleeves, those sort of things. And these cards are Haunted Ridge, another land. Cool. And a plummet. Oh, and a list card. Extinction from Tempest. I remember this card, the original. Nothing too exciting with that one.
We're gonna pull this is court. All the cats. Foil Swampy. Man, these are just gonna fit into every commander deck. They'll replace anyone who has basic even the non-foils. These art this artwork is so cool. Anyone playing basic lands. These are a great option. I know there's some good commons in the commons. I can't think of them right now. But I will when I see them. Lunark veteran. Malevol malevolent hermit. Human wizard. Sacrifice malevolent hermit. Counter target non-creature spell. Unless it's controller please. This card seems pretty strong actually. Wow, look at this swamp. Very cool. Very cool. Visions of Dread. Another commander rare. Florian. Showcase Reckless Storm Seeker. That's pretty cool. The etching is really cool on these cards. It's only foil and the certain parts of the card. It reminds me of the flesh and blood cold foils. Pretty cool. And they're not, hopefully they don't curl. They, they certainly aren't curled yet. The wow, hopefully you can see how these foils look. Really cool. Really cool foil rares. Oh, there's a pull tab. Island. Very cool. Consider. There we go. This card's good. This card is like a op replacement. Pretty much going to be an all standard deck playing blue. Pithing needle reprint. Okay, okay. Not too exciting. No way out. Alright. Ooh, and another list card. Common Moon Mist. That's pretty cool, actually. From original Innistrad, Transform All Humans. This is definitely going to be the slowest video I put out. Normally I just want to uh, go through boxes quick and see the EV of the boxes basically. But these, when a new set comes out, we'll go a little bit slower like this. Ooh, Infernal Grasp. Destroy target creature, you lose two life for two black. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so this is just a showcase non foil. Vadric Astral Archmage. Even the set symbol is really cool. It's like a wolf almost in a moon. Memory Deluge for another rare. I'm gonna have to go look at the set list. See what what 
what cards are on the list for this set. Oh, another foil, foil island. Man, these are cool. Really cool lands. I'm excited about these. Flip the switch. So what is it? Common, common, common. Four commons. Two uncommons, and then this is some. This is like the showcase slot, I'm guessing. Overgrown farmland. All right, we've gotten three of the lands. White, green. We just need two more. That'd be cool to get all five in the first box. Wumpy. Rotten Reunion. What a cool looking card. Man, this set is so cool, guys. Shady Traveler. Storm the Festival. And a foil rare. Catilda Donhart Prime. Pretty cool. I like the etched foils way better than these than the original like normal foils. It's not even close. Blade Brigade. Ghoul Colors Harvest. Goes with the zombie theme. Zombie tokens. Crossroads Candle Guide. Look at this guy. Very Halloween. Really cool. So we've gotten, what, three foil rares, I believe. I don't know how many we get in these set boxes. Kind of figure it out eventually, but just try and keep track a little bit. Hound Tamer. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Bereaved Survivor. Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, there we go. Gold signature. What are the best cards? The Teferi, maybe? Um, the Ren and Seven. Let's get one of those two. Teferi or Ren and Seven. I believe would be the biggest hits, unless there's something bigger than that in the set list. I'm not sure. Not there. All right, we're about halfway through the box.
Empire Socialite. It's hard going back and forth with uh, different rarities and artworks. You're trying to sort them out. Another foil rare, so that's our fourth foil rare. Interesting. If you guys like box openings and just zoning out for a while and watching packs be opened and EV be calculated, make sure you follow this channel because we're going to be doing a bunch of that. Just kind of opening boxes and doing things to show you how you could make money or not. If a box is not good EV, then you should not open it. But every once in a while, like Modern Horizons 2, we're going to be opening a lot of that, I think, because the EV is just too good. It's inverted where you can buy a box, crack it, and sell the singles for more money than the cost of the box. And probably won't it won't last forever either the card values will go down or the prices of the boxes will go up but for right now you can do it you can just crack them and flip singles so we're gonna start doing that and I want to film some of the openings and just kind of um, oh, these are so cool I just want to film the, the journey the opening Modern Horizons 2, see how it goes. I would also like to, if I can get the okay, to give a bunch of stuff away to our followers. I think that'd be really fun. So our channel is definitely going to grow. I'm going to work hard to build it, grow it. Um, hopefully some other guys and gals will make some videos and we can all go through many sets together. Another list card. It's it's really kind of a bummer how bad of cards are in the list cards. Like, you should just get list cards less often, but they should be better. Like these commons and just terrible cards that they put in the list are just no fun. Bat Whisper, that's cool. Dissipate. Curse of Obsession, another commander rare. Bird Admirer. Morning Patrol. Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter. What's this foil? Looks like a showcase foil. Hopefully it's a rare tireless hauler. And a day-night day, tokens. I think this is the only video I'm going to make going through these cards slowly. Then every other one is just going to be fast and it's just going to show the EV of the boxes. I think it's a better way to do it. I think that's what people really just want to see anyway. Just straight to the good cards. Ooh, our first Planeswalker, Arlen, the Pack's Hope. Day bound till the next turn you may cast creature spells as though they had flash and each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it uh, create two wolf tokens this card seems insane i haven't seen this card yet i have no idea what it's worth but it seems good Seems good. 10 bucks at least is my prediction. Oh, great. A jump from command, from M10. Just what I wanted from the list. That's a 
cool art card. I would be going faster if I didn't have to sort these these rarities. Ooh, another mythic. Spectral Adversary. Two drop flash flying. Mm, not sure about this guy. Ooh, a homunculus. Unblinking observer. I don't know if I like the pull tabs. You still have to open them. These stick to the lands every time too. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. So it's five uncommons in this pack. This feels like an unusual pack, like something unusual in the back is about to happen. Champion of the Parish. D perished. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Champion of the Parish, and it's a 1-drop, one 1-1. One, one. This guy could get pretty big pretty quick. Might be a good card. In zombies. Heirloom Mirror. Another list card, Unburial Rights. From original Innistrad. At least that's flashback. It's a lot of flashback in this set. It's kind of cool. That this is my favorite token so far, for sure. Or art card. It's so cool. Okay, so common, 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 common. Four commons. Uncommon, uncommon. Back to common, back to common, another common, and a mythic. It's just weird. Sigarda, champion of light. Silver bolt. I'm curious if we get a rare art, uh, rare list card. In each set box or not. So far we have not. I don't believe. Faithful Mending. This card is good. You gain two life, draw two cards, then discard two cards, and you can flash back. Pretty strong for an uncommon. That'll be in a lot of standard decks. I'm not going to try and say this name. Champlain of Holmes. Gosh, how cool are these werewolves? Moon Sliver Key, this card is also good. Sacrifice Moon Sliver Key, search your library for an artifact card with a mana ability or a basic land, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Seems pretty good. We need to go get a Soul Ring or a Mana Crypt. That's a good commander card. What? Back to back Tavern Ruffians? Come on, guys, get it together. Sarith, the Viper's Fang. Got a foil feel. Oh, I saw it was a land. Field of Ruin. Do you guys like these pull tabs? Somebody just comment if you like these pull tabs or not. Foil Forest. These are so cool.
Visions of Ruin. I did I already get this card? I think I did. Maybe not. It was another commander card. Shady Traveler. Old Stick Fingers. A card with that name is usually never good. That sort of name. Can't possibly be good. Rishadan Brigade. So here's a rare. Pirate. And Rishadan Brigade comes into play and each opponent sacrifices a permanent unless he or she pays three. Rishadan Brigade may block only creatures with flying. So that's our set list rare. From Mercadian Masks. Boy, I remember those days. See, look, I feel like, see this ding here? I swear it's from the pull tabs. You see that? Just annoying. Shipwreck Marsh. It's the same one we got in foil, but now non foil. Duel for Dominance. Foil and another list card. Call of the Nightwing. See, I'm gonna go old school. I don't like when my cards get dinged. I'm out on the pull tabs, guys. No dings on these cards. Maybe I'm just a, a noob when it comes to opening pull tabs. It's quite possible. Curse of Leeches, Borrowed Time, Zombie Token. All right, four more packs, and as I, as I forget and do the pull tab again, let's see if I dinged another card. That one actually felt really smooth. Nope, looks good. The Guardian Savior. I have no idea if this has been a good box or not. I really don't. It seems like I haven't gotten any of the best cards. The best, uh... Well, that Planeswalker was pretty nice. I think. I'd like to get a Renin 6. Renin 7, rather. Stitched scab, that card's cool. Kissig Naturalist Showcase. Dawnheart Mentor. Vanquish the Horde. This card. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. So in like a commander game with a bunch of creatures, this will cost two white. Destroy all creatures. Seems like a really, really good commander card. Except that everyone will be mad at you. And then try and kill you after you wipe the board. And eliminate all their combos. I wonder how hard these gold signature cards are to get. I wish they would make them hard. I actually really wish they would make numbered cards as like chase cards. I think it would bring in a lot of sports collectors and uh, it would just make a whole, give a whole nother dynamic to collecting and opening boxes if Magic made numbered cards like, like in the sports cards. 
I know a lot of people wouldn't like that, but I think it would be a good idea, at least business-wise, for them, if nothing else. Call me crazy. I actually think it'll come eventually. Be some like one of one super showcase signed foil mythics or something. That'd be cool. All right, last pack, guys. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to watch tons of box openings coming up. I'm committed to it. We're going to have fun. We have several people who will likely be opening boxes in the future. We have some... Oh, here we go. We got something... Oh, Warren Power Stone. Just hoping it was something else from Urza's Saga. All right. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, welcome to Innistrad, the Midnight Hunt, I think this this is going to be a very successful set. These cards are awesome. Um, we're going to be opening a ton more. Hopefully these lists, there's some good list cards. Hopefully we find the Ren and Seven. And uh, yeah, please join us and let us know if you have any advice or anything you want to see opened. And I really want to do something special for like the first bunch of you know subscribers. Maybe first 100 out of 100 subscribers, we give away something really cool. So if you're watching this very first video, thank you. You're awesome. And make sure you're subscribed. It could pay off.